Hi everyone. Welcome back to Knowing Ruth Designs. Uh, we're going to be working on week 50 of the Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly um, Challenge. And I'm going to try to do a, a nice little Christmas theme here. And um, I'm going to have to step away because I have a lot of fussy cutting to do. But I want to show you what I've chosen. Um, this week's prompts are thread or a piece of fabric, something heavy, something from mythology or legend, something that reminds you of ho the holidays, plant of any color but green, and then a book page. Um, I'm going to try to use all of them, but I'll see how it goes. So this is my book page. Uh, it comes from a, an old Christmas book that I have. I'm going to use this here as my background. And then I have a Victorian book. Uh, this one here, it's called Joy to the World. And there's a lot of fun images in here. I'm not a real Victorian type of person, but there's a lot of fun images in here that could be cut out and used for collaging. Um, so I have this image here. I'm going to cut her out on the couch. And that the couch is my heavy item, okay? Then my legend or myth is I'm um, going to cut these Santas out here. You can see I have a lot of fussy cutting to do. And then something that reminds me, what was that? Something that reminds me of the holidays. I have these big shiny balls. Um, I want to cut some of these out and try to incorporate them. And then the plant of any color but green is my poinsettia. Um, so I'm going to be cutting that out. So I'm going to step away because, like I said, I have a lot of fussy cutting to do. When I get everything cut out, I'll be back and we will see if I can put it together. Oh, and this is my little, I have a little piece of fabric here. I thought I would try to incorporate that as well. So I will see you shortly. So I have everything cut out and I'm going to move my paper over here a little bit. I had to, I'll bring it down just a tad too. I had to change my lights around because with this glossy paper, um, the glare is really, really bad. Um, so I probably should have checked this ahead of time because you all know I have a love-hate relationship with this glue, this art glitter glue. Um, so while I'm doing this, I just, I want to wish everyone well, and I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope everybody is healthy. We, um, we're finding that a lot of people are out at our, um, manufacturing center. I call it COVID country now. Everybody's getting COVID. However... Um, it's, you know, it's not that bad. It's more like just a, a bad cold. But I told my husband, I, oh, look at this, look how hard this is to get out. I told my husband, I really don't want him out there. He wants to go out and um, wish everyone a Merry Christmas and um, see how everything's going because he hasn't been out there since his surgery in October. And I told him to stay away from COVID country because I don't want to, I don't want to get sick before the holidays, nor do the boys. So I hope you're all doing well and you're able to be in your craft room and with your family. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the back, uh, the back page here because there's nothing that's going to be done to this. And of course, I can't, I can't get this to work. I don't know. It's all gummed up or something. I don't know. I'm going to try a different glue. As much as I like the art glitter glue, I'm not I'm not liking the tip on this. I have tried it before with the tip off. And it's 
is just a nightmare. I'm going to take care of this. I'll be right back. I think I have it okay now. I just had a poke and prod it more. But yeah, I'm going to try a different... If anyone out there has a suggestion for another glue, I know Bitty Penny uh, and Mish. See that? Um, they use an Elmer's glue. And they seem to like it. I haven't been able to find it. But I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not really enjoying using this art glitter glue anymore. And maybe it's just the tip. I know I have to clean these quite often. I have to boil it. And then I have to poke and prod at it. So... Who knows? It's, you know what they say, it's, you know, it's not the machine that breaks, it's always the operator. So it's probably me. All right, so here is my, this is my book page, okay? We'll go over all of this in the end. All right, so as you can see, I had a lot of fussy cutting to do, um, with this pretty little gal here. And at first I was going to cut, this is part of the chair, um, comes up and around. The only thing I can think of is maybe these were, this was a shield. Um, remember back in the Victorian days where when they had the fireplace going, they would have um, like a, a heat shield or whatever next to a chair that would or maybe they had at the back of the fireplace. Uh, I know that they had tall ones that used to stand on a like a, a some sort of a tripod stand um, because the women didn't want the heat um, hitting them in the face. Um, so I wanted to put this right around here, something like that. Um, so my something heavy is this chair because I can't even imagine moving. This looks more like a love seat. I can't even imagine having to move that back in Victorian times. Um, the I cut out the Santa, okay, and all of these baubles, balls and baubles. I really, I think these are so pretty. And I wanted to get these, I can move this down just a little bit. I wanted to get these up here. So, and then this is my uh, plant of any color but green. I have my point, point, poinsettia. I would say poinsettia, it's point, poinsettia. Um, and then I have this little flower too other than green. This is a little gold flower. I wanted to use that somewhere. Here's another ornament. Um, and I have these ornaments here. So I don't know whether I should put, put them straight across. Let's see here. I'd like to try to keep some of that where it says, where it says content contents, but maybe I can put it over here like that. That might be better. I know I want that there, so I'm going to just take this top part and put this down. Um... I just don't know how far over I want it. Maybe I'll put it over a little bit more here. Okay, so I'm going to put that there like that. And I have this. I did want to bring it down the side, I think. But I'd also like that over there, maybe. So 
such shiny, pretty ornaments. See, put that there. I have this little one here. I could put that like that on that side, but I did want to put well, that wouldn't be bad. I wanted to put Santa on this side here. I'd like to use this material. Um, No, I don't know how I'm going to fit this material in, but I thought it would be fun to use that. Um, I don't really want that up there. What can I do with this material? The only other thing I thought of is make, maybe making, cutting it out and having... Um, Doing something. I think I'm going to end up cutting these flowers out. I don't want to use it as a rug. I did that in one of my other. So I'm just wondering if I should. I like it like that. I also want to try it. I thought maybe putting it on this side as well. But then again, maybe not. I think I like it up in that. Yeah, I think I like it over here better. I initially cut it and I thought I'd put it over there, but I think this will, I think this works better. And I just have to decide, do I want it over or under? I think I want it over the top of that. And I'm not gluing the bottom just yet in case I need to tuck. I know I want to tuck these. Over here like this, I think. So if I put those there, like I could put them down. I could put that up there. Hmm. I was also thinking I could put put that down there like that even to add a little something. I have this ornament here. I think I'll put that back. I think I'll put that up there. Like that, I'll tuck it underneath. So if I put that, over there like that. Okay. Um, I know I thought I'd put that there, but I think I'm gonna put my um, I think I'm going to put this ornament there like that. And I just want to take a little bit Oh, it's my son. I'll put that there like that. That's pretty. I like all those little glass ornaments. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Um, all right, I'm going to get her down. Well, the first thing, I did cut this because I'm thinking I'd really like to have this Santa, the little one, be standing. I'd like to have some of that showing. I 
right down around here. I want to have that showing there just to balance it out. Now I'm getting a glare here. I hope it's okay for you folks. That's the problem with working with glossy paper is that um, it can really kind of play havoc. It doesn't seem to be holding very well. Okay, so we have that there like that. I'm going to get this down. Um, so we'll get this glued down and then uh, we'll figure out what to do with that um, fabric. Because I do want to use that fabric in here. And I'm not going to do a lot of the uh, filigree on top with the glue because I don't think that's going to go anywhere. So we'll get this down. And there's our Santa. Okay. All right. And I'll do her hand just a little bit behind the wine glass here. We don't want her spilling that wine, right? Don't want to have her spill that wine all over. All right. So I have the point set up. And maybe I could put that maybe up there like that. I don't really want it up there. I don't want it down here. Um, I probably should have... I could have put this, let me see if I can lift this up a little bit. I could put this in another section. I can put that poinsettia right there. I think that'll be pretty. Okay. I'll put that there like that. I just thought another little, I thought a Christmas, a little Christmas collage would be pretty for this one. And then we're going to put, I can put that one over there like that or somewhere else. I'll, I'll find a spot for it. Let's see. Where do we want to put it? I think we'll put it right here. That's good. And that kind of completes that over there. And then I am going to put this pretty little flower. Probably right down here because this just seems like it needs a little um, finishing touch. So we'll put that right there. And then as far as this, I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. Um, I'm just going to do a rough cut. And it's not going to be anything just do a little bit of an outline of it. And we'll see if we can make this work. I'll leave this white one on here. We'll keep that attached. And there's no story this week with it. This is just a nice little, nice little Christmas collage. Maybe I can fray some of this as well. Make it look a little, a little more ragged or whatever. I'd like to know if you've all started baking yet. That's on my list. Um, 
I'm excited about baking this year. I don't know why, but I want to make my giant um, gingerbread snowflakes again. So I haven't made them in a couple years. Maybe that's why I'm excited to get them made. And then I have a really good recipe. Um, it's called um, chocolate chip nut refrigerator cake. Oh my heavens, I could eat the whole thing. Um, there's sour cream in it. You take a yellow box cake and then you add your vanilla pudding. You add sour cream. And there's other things, you know, eggs and that, this and that. Um, but then you layer your bunt pan uh, with chocolate chips and walnuts and batter and then chocolate chips and walnuts and batter. Oh my God. Then you, when it's done, you take it out of the, you take it out of the um, pan, bump pan, and uh, you put it in the refrigerator. You wrap it in foil, and you, when you want a piece, you take it out of the refrigerator and you cut yourself a nice chunk, and it is so, so good. It is so delicious. Um, I'm anxious to make that again this year. That's my girlfriend's mom's recipe. She made that every year and oh my heaven. Then my mom started making it and it's just so delicious. I think I'm just going to add that right there. But then maybe I don't, well, maybe I don't have to. Book page. I have my book page. I have my plant. Any color but green. Something that reminds me of the holidays or all the baubles and the the balls here. Um, something from a mythology or legend that's Santa. Something heavy as the chair. Um, so I really don't need to add this. I really can't find any place that I might want to put it or I think it, it should go. So I'm not going to add it. I'll save that for my journal. I can add that in my journal somewhere. So that is it. That is this week's collage. I'm just going to kind of stand up here and maybe do this because, again, the lights are, isn't it funny? The lights are just really weird with this. So, yep, this is just a nice little Christmas collage, um, and I have everything here except the piece of fabric. So the chair is heavy. Um, we have the Santa, something that reminds you of the holidays, are the the um, ornaments up here. Um, we have our poinsettia, and that is it. Yeah, I think this is a really cute collage. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you give me a thumbs up. Um, this is just really bothering me, the lights. Sorry about that. Um, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.